Growth requires faith. Faith and God is the perfect combination. We know that faith is only developed when we trust God, when we believe in his promises. Faith is not developed by all the good times that we have. But faith is only developed by walking through fear, through doubt, through frustration, through disappointment. Because we know that faith is what grows us. Faith is used to show us that even when we don't see what's in front of us, that God is a promise keeper. And we know that faith is only developed when we walk through those dark moments when we're so afraid and so scared, when we don't know what is going to happen, when it seems like everything is out of control, there's so much chaos and confusion in our lives. That's when faith is grown inside of us. When we all we have is God and our faith, that's when our faith increases. And that's when we trust God more than we've ever trusted him before. We know that faith is used to show us that all that we hope for is possible and that God, indeed, his word is true and his word is permanent. For God is a God that shall not lie. He cannot lie. God says we must rely on our faith and not on our feelings. God says we must trust him enough to remain faithful even when we can't see the promises that he's made to you and I. God says grow with the flow because everything that we go through is used to develop us. It's used to grow us. It's used to shape and mold us into all that God has purposed us to be, who he's calling us to be. God says grow with the flow. Even when the obstacles when the obstacles seem greater than the opportunity in our lives. God says, grow with the flow, remain faithful. Faith over fear. When the promises that God has made to us seem so little, when the problems are more persistent than the problems, than God's promises, God says, grow with the flow. Choose faith over frustration, over fear, over doubt, over rejection, over betrayal. God says, grow with the flow. We must remain faithful in every area of our lives. God says, choose faith versus your feelings. Because our feelings can sometimes be that thing that cause us to doubt God's word, to doubt his promises. Our circumstances can cause us to stop believing in all that God promised us. But God says, grow with the flow, grow in that situation, grow through that problem, through that area that seems like it's going to crush you. God says, grow. Use the opportunity to grow. Use that challenge to grow you, to shape you and mold you into all that God wants you to be. God says, we must grow with the flow. We must not allow our feelings to overshadow our faith because God declares that he is a promise keeper and every word spoken by your heavenly father is truth and his word shall not or ever fall to the ground. But we must remain faithful and grow in all that we go through. God says grow. I want to read the word of the Lord where it simply declares, abide in faith, grow in every area, in every circumstance or situation. God says, abide in faith. It says, whether your challenges in life are big or small, I want you to know that I am with you always. The things that seem big to you are small to me. God declares that things that seem big to us, immeasurably big to us, are small to him. He says, whether you realize it or not, you need me continuously 
every day of your life, in everything. We know that. God says, I want you to have rest to your soul, to cease the struggle with your life and find peace in the journey with me. We have to find peace through all that we endure. And yes, that's easier said than done. Because when we're going through total hell, confusion and chaos, we can't find peace. We look for peace and we can't find it. But God declares that if we remain faithful, if we remain faithful to him, to his word, to his promises, and not rely constantly on our feelings, our circumstances, God says he will see us through just like he's done many, many times before. God says, remain faithful. Rely on our faith more than we rely on our feelings. Grow in the situations. Grow with the flow. God says, grow. He's called us to grow, even though it's hard at times. Even though we don't understand. Even though we beg God to remove many of the, the problems that we face. It's never going anywhere until we grow because there's always a lesson in all of our problems in all of the troubles in all of the frustration and all of the betrayal, the broken. When we are broken, God declares that there's always a great lesson. We must grow in it. God says, grow with the flow. Listen, he says, Find peace in the journey with me. I want you to do great. And often in doing great, it requires sacrifice. It requires going through troubled moments, difficult situations, problems beyond your control. He says, you'll need to invite me in every area of your life so that I may work supernaturally in everything you face. We must trust God and believe that even though we endure hardships, even though we don't want to go through all that we go through, we must grow in it. God says, grow with the flow. Don't allow your feelings to overshadow your faith. All of God's promises, the word of God. We know the word of God declares it says in Galatians 6 and 9, don't grow weary. It says don't grow weary in well-doing. For in due season, we will reap a great harvest if we do not give up. That means that everything we go through, we must remain faithful. We must remain persistent and dedicated to trusting that God's word is promising to our future, to our destiny. And if God brought us to a situation, he'll bring us through it. No matter how much we endure, God says he'll never leave us, nor shall he forsake us. But we must remain dedicated to trusting God through it all. We must grow with the flow. God says grow with the flow. Grow in it. Even though at times we feel like it's just simply too much. It's too hard for us to bear. God says grow in it. He wants us to grow in it. Grow in it and grow through it. Because God will keep us. God is a keeper. Even through all of life difficulties. God promised he will be there with us to the very end. Listen, God declares, he says, you need to invite me in every area of your life so that I may work supernaturally in everything you face. You will need to relinquish your fears and surrender your control and your total trust to me. For with me, nothing, he says, for with me, nothing is impossible. Nothing. We know nothing is impossible. If we trust in his word, if we believe, if we doubt not, if we choose faith over fear, if we choose faith over frustration, if we choose to believe in the promises 
that our Heavenly Father has declared over our lives. Even before we knew we had a problem, God already knew how he would solve the many problems that we face, the great issues and challenges, the circumstances. God declares, don't rely on your feelings, but rely on your faith. Grow with the flow. We must grow through it. Grow in it and allow God to see us through because God is indeed a promise keeper. I want to finish reading in conclusion where it declares, the word declares, apart from me, you can do nothing. But if you remain in me, trusting and obeying, you can do everything. God says, if you remain in him, trusting and believing, relying on your faith and not on your feelings, not relying on the challenges or the circumstances, but relying and believing and trusting in your heavenly father, you can do everything through Christ Jesus who gives you strength. I just want to encourage you on today to remain faithful, to trust in God and allow God to see you through, grow through the situation, grow with the flow. Don't rely on your right now, on your feelings, but rely on your faith and allow God to see you through because God promised that we're more than conquerors through him. We're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loves us. And God declares if he be for us, who in the world can be against us? I want to encourage you to grow in it. Grow with the flow. Don't rely on your right now, on your feelings or those circumstances that may be terribly out of control. But rely on your faith, the same faith that has brought you through many, many, many difficult situations. God declares, grow with the flow.